What's going on everyone? Misa with Mrs. Mobile Detailing here. Uh, today we have a ceramic coating job on an Escalade. Uh, it's gonna be a black vehicle. Uh, we're gonna be applying uh, Dallas Paint Correction, TMR, ceramic coating, which is a eight year ceramic coating. This coating is also for boats and RVs. Uh, so it's gonna be a, it's supposed to be a really strong coating. Um, I have experience with it before. It works really, really good. So I started with the rims, and then I move to the rest of the vehicle, getting every spot real good. After this, I rinsed it off, I dried it, and then I sprayed the iron decontamination, uh, the iron removal, um, to get it ready to clay it. So before I start, the clay barring and all that stuff. I just want to show you the conditions of the paint. I mean, you can see it right there. All the swoop marks, all the scratches, spider webs, whatever you want to call it. So with the clay, you got to make sure that you don't move onto the next spot until that paint is smooth. So this is why you want a clay bar. So all that stuff that is coming off, um, that the regular wash didn't take, didn't get, uh, the clay bar will get it. So I just wanna show you um, just what it looks like and what it's important. So I already found my pad compound combination. So this is the after right here. This is gonna be the before. This is how he was. I mean, see it all funky and stuff. All the swirl marks. And we got right here the after. So after clay, what follows is the polishing, the paint correction, paint enhancement, whatever you want to call it, uh, whatever the clients pay for. So you're going to see me here doing that, polishing all the paint, uh, making sure that I remove all uh, the scratches, getting the paint, um, that vivid color, that black richness uh, prior to the ceramic coating. We're almost ready for the ceramic coating. So now after paint correcting everything, we want to apply the paint prep, which will strip all of the silicone, waxes, all that residue left from uh, the paint correction. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here on this clip. So I'm gonna do it twice. This is the second time, just to make sure that I get everything every spot, I didn't miss um, any area. So I'm gonna do it again. It's better be safe than sorry. I also use the air compressor to make sure I 100% dry the vehicle throughout. So finally, after all that prep and all that work, we get to lay the ceramic coating. I use the light to make sure that I don't have any high spots and just to make it easier for me to see what I'm wiping off. So this is my process to ceramic coat a vehicle. I am done today. Uh, I got the ceramic coating done and everything. I'm gonna come back in a week. So I wanna show you what it looks like a week after when I do the maintenance. So check the next video. So it's been one week after I applied the coating. So this is what we got, just look at that. Look at that. Super hydrophobic. What else wanna stick? Stick to the paint. Woo, look at that. Look at that. Dry. That's so dry. The freaking camera can't even focus. There you go. So dry. Beautiful. So I'm just gonna dry it now. But look at that beating game. Look at that beating. Oh yeah. So here's another shot uh, with the pressure washer, uh, just how it behaves, how the ceramic behaves. So the beating game spaces. Okay guys, I want to let you, I missed one small spot. 
that in a ceramic coat. I uh, saw it when I was uh, pressure washing it and um, just kind of see the lack of beading on that area. So I'm just gonna show you, uh, not to overthink it, not to overthink it, um, just do a little quick prep and just cover the area that, um, that you missed. Um, there's nothing else to it. Um, besides that, it looks pretty good. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and coat that part and um, that's it. So to know where I was missing the ceramic coating, I'll snap a picture. Um, and then I based myself off of that picture to see the spot uh, where it was. So then after that, I got the coating, I'm ready to ceramic coat it. And you can tell the spot that is missing a ceramic coating and what spot is not. Just because where the coating has already been su successfully applied and cured is hydrophobic. So whenever you're applying the coating, it kind of like it's more slippery than the part hasn't been ceramic coated. So that's how I knew um, the spots that were, were not ceramic coated, the, the, spot that I, the small spot that I missed. So just wanted to let you know that.